For the first time, China is launching a foreign-made communication satellite, and for the first time, the launch of a satellite is being broadcast live on the national television networks. The launch was originally scheduled to follow the main evening news, but it was postponed for two hours because of bad weather conditions in Xichang, Sichuan province, where launch officials have been waiting anxiously. The tank second countdown, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Now lift off. Apparently something is wrong. And launch officials are trying to figure out exactly where the problem is. Now they've decided to ignite the booster rocket once again. Ignition. Now lift off. Well, the countdown was a little nervous, but it was smooth in the end. Now a perfect lift off. Now the satellite is a Asia Sat One, a communication satellite manufactured by the American Hughes Aircraft Corporation but owned by the AsiaSat company based in Hong Kong. The satellite weighs one and a quarter tons. The rocket, a Long March 3 multi-stage carrier rocket, was designed and manufactured in China. It can put a payload of one and a half tons into space. AsiaSat 1 will be used for television broadcasts and telecommunication for more than 30 Asian countries bringing benefit to an estimated 2,500 million people. The development of the carrier rocket is primarily designed for domestic use. On that basis, China offers launching services for international clients for commercial purposes. Now, the launching officials apparently breathe more than a sign of relief. China is currently developing a carrier rocket with a bigger carrying capacity so that the industry can meet the need of the country's progressive aerospace industry. This is Zhang Jianxin of China Central Television for the CNN World Report.